The first book that I wrote, uh, I have it over there. It's Experiencing the Course in Miracles. That was really my first book, and it came from The Course in Miracles, which is a, you know, it's a lengthy volume. And then later I wrote The Short Course in Miracles, because that was a little easier to understand and easier to read. Uh, my favorite one, though, is this one right here. This is the one that I pride myself in, uh, the uh, uh, essential Thomas Truett. And in my opinion, he was the founder of the New Thought Movement. And uh, along with, like Christianity, I think it has become a little distorted now, but I still consider myself a part of that movement. But uh, these are his essential teachings in these, this book. He died in uh, uh, 1916. Ironically, he died three days before my father was born. And I become so engrossed in his teaching. He has seven books. His latest one was written in 1921. This is his essential seven books condensed into one and made easier to read. His books are really complex. This one is far easier. When you soul search and you find who you are, you're going to find out that, that deep inside it's God manifesting as yourself. God is manifesting as himself in each person. And uh, you need to learn to think the way God thinks, the way God wants you to think. And uh, God is love. And Jesus Christ you know, taught that a, fa a, a God of love. He was the originator of that. Up until then, there was gods of judgment, gods of power. Jesus Christ taught a God of love, a father of love, someone not to fear, but to love and to fellowship and be one with. And when yourself meets that God self where they're one, there's an explosion of power and happiness and, and strength, and, and it's just a wonderful life. The ideas are, are wonderful. When you get into the self-searching, they're rather easy to understand, but when you try to put them into a language, you know, that people will, will understand, uh, it, 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 it's quite difficult. You see, I've been like a searcher most of my life. Um, most of my searching was in, in Christianity. I uh, was given a couple of books that were, one of them was um, uh, a book of, on esoteric mind power. And I left it with, without reading it for, oh, I suppose about 20 years. And finally, after my retirement, I started reading that particular book. And it, it fit in with my Christian beliefs only. It was far deeper. And the practices uh, I found worked so, so well for uh, uh, improving my life. And uh, I was just happier. And I thought, well, I'm going to start writing my own books, but put a Christian context, you know, to this esoteric mind power. Because I believe that's really what Jesus was teaching, you know, 2,000 years ago. And I think it might have gotten a little misconstrued, uh, whereas, whereas uh, Christianity sort of made a wrong turn and made Jesus uh, into the only Son of God. And um, whereas, whereas each person, you know, is, is the Son of God. And it's kind of hard to explain, you know, in, in a few words, but uh, um, if you go into yourself, you know, if you go into yourself to understand things, you're going to find that deep within there's the kingdom of God where yourself as an individual meets the God that is within you or the creator. And uh, when those two meet, they're one. And Jesus talked about this. He says, I and my father are one. He says, you and my, me are one. And, 
And uh, that, when you live from that oneness, it's an inspiring, wonderful, powerful, happy life. My books are available worldwide. If you're any, anywhere in the world, you know, you just call any bookstore, any book company, or whatever, and uh, uh, you give, give them my name and they'll send you my book. They're, the books, they're on Amazon. You can pick them up there too. That's probably the easiest place, but no, really, my website is the easiest place. Would you believe that my, my highest priced book is $7.99? <laughs> I mean, where I, I have them priced so low that I, I don't make a whole lot of money. The thing is, I tried to, at, at first, I was just writing for the enjoyment, and I wanted to just give the books away, but uh, if you're giving something away, people don't think it's of any value. Plus, you give it to people that just don't have a particular interest in reading them. So then I started charging for the book. So that's what developed here. I, I have retirements. I have no need of really any more, any extra income. But, but it is fun. I'm doing this for fun. And if I make a little money, you know, maybe I can take my wife on a vacation or buy a few things for the grandkids. And that, that's, a, that's a perk also.